Hey guys, NJ here just with a update on this smart battery that I reviewed a few hours ago. There was actually something that I didn't actually spot and was quite uh, quite important, certainly something that requires pointing out about these smart batteries and that is that they actually self discharge. Now I must give a shout out to um, a commenter on that video so a big thanks to him for bringing this to my attention. I did briefly look at this in the uh, back go menu and then just completely forgot to uh, find out exactly what was going on in the rush to get you this information but basically this battery has the ability to bring itself back to a storage charge which is actually kind of a cool feature. Now the way that you do this is that when we plug this in and it registers that it's actually a back go, which it has done right there. If we hold down the uh, the middle button here and go to this sub menu where I, if you remember, I talked about the exception record, you can see there's some other stuff up here. One of which is right at the top, the auto storage feature. And this is something that's uh, measured in hours. Um, and what it's basically saying is, how long do you want me to wait if I'm not at storage voltage or above storage voltage, say this was a fully charged pack that I just forgot about, didn't get to fly it. It's gonna wait for a predefined number of hours set by you before it will start to bring itself back to storage charge. Now the only way that I can think this will be able to do this is with heat dissipation um, and to be honest with you, I find that a little bit sketchy. I'm not sure I l particularly like the idea of uh, this battery dissipating um, uh, dissipating heat or getting hot at all. Um, but I imagine in order to be within the realms of uh, safe, that will be doing so very, very slowly indeed, um, so that those temperatures are nothing more than warm. Um, this is something I really need to mess around with and test. Um, but this is basically how you do it. So we can go all the way down here to as little as 12 hours. There you go, that's your minimum. So if I set that now, if this, uh, if I charge this up and it's above storage voltage, and I think I can actually predetermine what storage voltage is as well, but we'll leave it at 3.8. Um, after 12 hours of non-activity, if this is above that, it will slowly, through very gentle heat dissipation, bring these cells back um, so that the overall voltage is down at 3.8 volts and I presume uh, keep them in balance as well. This is something I will have to test, but hey, that's kind of a cool feature. Rather than leaving your battery at top voltage, um, which is not particularly good for your battery long term, it is quite a cool feature that this will bring itself back. So yeah, I'll test all that out, but yeah, very cool. Um, another thing you can do here, um, you can set the charge current and the charge voltage as well. So at the minute it's set to 4.2 volts. You can't go any higher than that, which is sensible. But say if you wanted to have these at 4.15 per cell, for instance, um, you could say that's something that, you, again, you could define. I only want this to uh, charge as high as 4.15 per cell. You could do that. Um, and you could say charge current. Um, I want this to charge at, let's say, I want to do a two amp charge with this guy. Now, those predefined, um, predefined things will now mean that when we disconnect this and we plug it into an ISDT smart charger, so let me just power this guy on. Um, if we now take that cell and plug it in, and it should register as a back go, which it has. When we go to do a charge, you can see it has indeed picked up those predefined settings uh, from the battery. The LiPo 4S has got a top voltage of 415, which is what we set, and a current of two amps. Um, so I've actually put user settings for each of these batteries. Now, I think that's really cool because obviously from battery to battery, you can decide exactly, uh, if I just, for instance, if I take this one out now, let's take that one out and I haven't adjusted um, the any of those parameters on this guy, so it should be a 4.2 per cell, and whatever the last charge was that I set it to. 
you'll see if we go for a charge, um, yeah, we have 4.2 volts per cell, um, and I must have just had it at, at two amps anyway with this one. But the whole point is you can battery to battery configure how you want this thing to charge, just plug in and go. You don't have actually have to mess around with the settings if you set them up as a user definition. So that's quite cool. So let's plug that one back in again uh, that we had our settings to. And yeah, as I, as I said, the 415 has been remembered. And also interesting to that is the fact that you can't change that now here. That is the top voltage per cell that we've selected and defined on here, and it's locked it here so that I can't change it. So that's really interesting. I can still change the current by the looks of things. So that can still be set to whatever I want to set it to, um, but that top voltage has been locked um, because we did so here. Um, if I go back from here, I presume then if we hold down the center button and go to the back go options, I can actually change that back to 4.2 um, and then yeah, set that to whichever I want. And then again, if that all disappears, we should now have that remembered. Go for a start, 2.5 amps, 4.2 volts per cell. So yeah, along with the auto discharge feature, so this battery can kind of self-maintain, a little bit of self-maintenance, and the fact that you can define uh, those parameters plugging into, uh, obviously only plugging into a, a charger that supports back go. Again, that's more pretty cool features. I mean, that's killer. That's a whole load of innovation that's come along. So if these cells turn out to be really good, and I will, put them through their paces and punish them and see how they go. And I can't imagine they put all this innovation into it and then be let down by the quality of the cells. Then I think these are gonna be a real winner. As I said before, I just really wanna now see this technology um, brought to other battery manufacturers because that really is quite fantastic.